So the mares and their babies have been doing fantastic. They've been all living together for a little while now and uh, they're getting along really well. Um, basically all of their weights have plateaued, so they're kind of all back to their normal pre-pregnancy weights, uh, same as their baby bumps, it's all back to their normal size. Uh, the babies are all getting along together well. Benny is officially a month old and she had her first hoof trim and dewormer given there the other day. Um, Viz will be coming up here in a week, week and a half and Phoenix still has a little bit to go. All the babies are doing fantastic. They've been getting their halter lessons and learning about the rules of uh, leading and responsibilities of being good horses. Um, they all have some teeth now. They've been eating hay. They've been nibbling on mom's grain and they're doing really good together. So we're really happy with how everyone's growing. Um, Benny pretty much doubled her weight in a month. That's your own child, honey. Um, doubled their own weight in a month, which is normally what we see. I said all the babies are being friendly. Oh, you're going to get in trouble, Viz, if you jump on your mother. And you said they're very friendly. This guy just wants to lick you to death. And uh, Viz, we've been calling her the Walmart greeter. Benny was a little standoffish to begin, but she's decided that she really likes people now and likes to hang out with us. Um, hi, Viz. Coming to say hi. So Viz is being real sweet and cute. Um, yeah, so they're all doing fantastic and they all want to eat me. So we just, anytime they want to kind of use their teeth, we just kind of give the flat palm and we'll redirect them if we need to. So I don't mind if she's like licking me right now, but if she wants to try to nibble at me like that, then I'll just kind of gently push her away to kind of discourage that kind of behavior. Don't mind the licking, but want to discourage the chomping now that they've got teeth. Yeah, see those teeth? Because we don't want to teach them to bite. Hi, sir. Are you, are you, are you doing good? We don't eat. We don't eat people. We don't eat people. And don't say hi to Benny, who's being antisocial right now because she's eating moss of all things. You need a bigger blanket, honey. Your bum's hanging out. You've got like a crop top, and yeah, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah, we need to get you a bigger blanket. So, yeah, all the kids are growing well and doing great. The mamas are doing fantastic. You're still following me. So yeah, we're really happy with how everyone's doing. Um, Daisy and her foal will be introduced to these guys at a later date. Um, he's quite a bit smaller than them. Uh, so we might wait a little bit longer and it'll kind of depend on how she's feeling emotional wise and hormones because we don't want anyone to get hurt. But these ladies are all doing fantastic and so are their kids. Yes, I am delicious. You just gonna eat me up? Mm, yum, yum. Yes, that human is tasty. Yes, I know. Meanwhile, Benny thinks the moss is tasty. Good kids. So Daisy had her foal on her due date. So she went 340 days to foaling. Um, the foaling itself went really good, but when she stood up to her feet, she got a little protective of the baby and it was no longer safe for us to be in the stall. Um, so the past few days have been a little stressful and uh, the baby's doing well. We did have to separate him from mom to give him an enema, um, but otherwise nursing good. Daisy's looking great after foaling. We haven't had a chance to measure her belly or her weight because she doesn't want us anywhere near her. So she's just gonna have to be as she is for now. But uh, we're glad that this little guy came into the world safe and sound. And uh, hopefully her hormones will calm down and she'll allow us to handle him soon. Yes, you, I know, you're very upset. And so as you can see, very hormonal mare, not a fan of us. She likes to keep herself between us and the baby. And that's just a protective thing. And hopefully, like I said, her hormones will calm down soon and we will be able to handle as normal. So Prairie is 336 days in full. She's due in six days. She's been coming into the stall at night. Um, her udder's been filling up. She's got a lot of edema right now. 
her weight maintained this week, but her baby bump went up two inches, which I think is two inches of edema. And again, the edema is the swelling that they get along their belly. So she's got this ridge along here, and that's uh, where the edema and the fluid kind of sits. It's kind of like the horse version of people getting, you know, swollen ankles when they get closer to their due date. I'm gonna take a quick peek at Prairie's udder here. So she's building up a pretty good bag. Um, she's quite full. Her right teat is now filled and her left teat is starting to be filled. There's been no real signs of wax. She had like one little drop there one day, but that was it. Um, so nothing too exciting yet. And we're just kind of waiting for her to get the ball rolling. Basically anytime now she could have this baby. So Rue is 321 days in full, due in 21 days. She's looking fabulous. Um, her weight went up this week. She was the only one that really gained, everyone else maintained. And her baby bump went up an inch. She's been coming into the stalls at night because she had us playing a little cautious just because she had some quick utter development and some body changes, but she seems to have stalled right now. So that's fine by us and uh, we anxiously await the arrival of her baby. Pippi is 321 days in full, due in 21 days. She is now in the safe zone. She maintained her weight this week and her baby bump maintained as well, so no major changes there. Take a quick peek at Pippi's udder. Hi, sweet girl. I got no cookies. And so she's building udder slowly, which is fine by for a maiden mare. No major changes, but otherwise she's doing good. Hi, hey, sweetie. It's not enough food, I promise. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to continue to monitor her, and she's got a little bit before we have to worry about bringing her into the foaling stalls at night. Emmy is 304 days in full. She's due in 38 days. Her weight maintained this week. She maintained her bump size. So there's been no major changes with her. She's still in lessons, looking fantastic. Really happy with her weight right now. So she's just gonna keep trucking along, building that baby. I'm gonna take a quick peek at Emmy's udder. So she's getting some mutter development there. Again, not a whole lot going on. We'll just continue to monitor that. Otherwise, she's good for her stage of gestation. Yes, you are, sweet girl. Hi. Trashy is 304 days in full, due in 38 days. She maintained her weight and her baby bump this week. No major changes. So we're happy with where she's at. I'm gonna take a quick peek at Trashy's udder. So she's getting a little bit of development there, which is good that she's kind of starting to decide to maybe do something because she'd been kind of slow to the party. But uh, yeah, everything's looking good. We don't need your help, Jazz. Thank you very much. And uh, we're happy with where she's at in her stage of gestation. So welcome to our bump date preview of April 13th, 2024. We now have had four of our mares full, five including Nayla. Um, Prairie and Rue and Pee, Pee are all in the safe zone and are progressing well for weights this week. Pretty much everyone maintained um, except Rue gained. Daisy we did not measure and uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. For our bump measurements, uh, Holly Key and Holly B are all basically maintaining now so they're at their pre-pregnancy weights and sizes. Um, Prairie and Rue had a slight gain while Pippi, Emmy and Trashy all maintained. So again, thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.